I love it. Look at this. Water's fabulous, isn't it? It looks vaguely Canadian over there, doesn't it? Yeah. This would be a good cover shot for, let's say, we're called Hector and Benjamin. Yeah. Vaguely Canadians, the album. Yeah. Vaguely yeah. Canadian. Yeah, vaguely yes. Canadian. Yeah. I'm on the train, I'm on my way to the Rocky Mountain High. I'm loving life with my mate Hector. <laughs> I'm hating life with my <laughs> mate Ben. We're vaguely Canadian. That much is true. We're Hector and Benjamin. Benjamin. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Vaguely Canadian, the new album by Hector and Benjamin. Right, I think a bit further, a little bit further out. one I think a little bit closer Welcome back to my diary. <coughs> thank you for thank you for joining me. Um, back on the big river in Yorkshire today. Um, we thought we'd come here and try one of the deeper, slower sections. We being my pal Dave, just down the bank, and um, and I and we, yeah, we thought we'd come and try the slower deeper sections we have on this stretch we've got a choice actually the the upper stretch is is a bit faster flow and shallower and this stretch really deep and um, and quite slow the river is is relatively low I have to say um, but uh, we thought we'd give this one a go today um, what I hadn't decided is whether we're going to leapfrog along <laughs> you'll have heard this before um, whether we're going to leapfrog along or whether we're going to sit and feed a feed a swim up, um, so we'll give it an hour and just just see uh, see how it goes. Anything interesting? You've heard this before as well. Anything interesting? <laughs> and I'll be back. Okay, so <laughs> Dave and I have had a conflab and. Um, We've sort of hatched a plan for the day, um, which is that we're going to stick it out for half the day in the swims that we, we're currently in, and um, and then move to new swims for the uh, for the other half of the day. And on that basis, I've hurled in a whole load of chopped up fish into the swim just to. Um, to get some scent into the water. Sounds like as good a plan as any. <laughs> Just fingers crossed. Right, we've got some action. It's in some sort of snag, I think. Oh, come on. Oh, dear. <laughs> it seems to have... Perhaps dump me in a in a snag. Is 
Yeah, I'm afraid. Hmm. Yeah. Goodness. Not sure what this is. Well, that was a bit of a nightmare to be honest. Fortunately I managed to get the kit the gear back. Obviously, not the fish, <laughs> which is kind of disappointing. So I've swapped the rods over now because it would seem a little foolhardy to to put the one one of them back in the, in the corner here where the where the snag is. So I've uh, swapped them over, and uh, we'll try again. It's, um, as I say, frustrating, <laughs> I'm afraid. Right, going to get a second chance perhaps here. Well, oh, not that way, that's where the snag is. Well, what do you make of that then? They know where those snags are. That was a bit of a bit of a struggle. <laughs> wow. Well having lost the first one in a snag. No. It was the further out rod. That's a bonny fish. I'll be back in a minute. Twelve and a quarter with the sling, so that's ten and a quarter. That's a nice fish. Nice blanks over that. <laughs> well, that made up for losing the first one. Right then, um, we've reached the point in the day when uh, we plan to move. 
Um, however, we had another conflab, Dave and I, and um, since the wind's dropped back now, and the ripples off the water a bit, we can see there's any number of bait fish, silvers, topping. Um, all over the, the width of the river, to be honest. So um, we've convinced ourselves that if the bait fish are there, then perhaps the pike are going to be there as well. So we've decided plan B was staying put. So I'm going to be chopping up a load more, um, load more bait and throwing that in. And we're here for the rest of the day. Flexibility. Can't beat a bit of flexibility. Or is it indecision? I don't know. <laughs> well, um, I think that's us into the last couple of hours or so. Um, nothing really to report, although about half an hour ago, the right hand rod, the lamprey rod, um, the float stood up and started to head for the um, middle of the river but um, by the time I got to the rod um, the float had stopped and fallen flat again and I gave it a few minutes and brought it back nothing so that's uh, that's the only sort of excitement um, and at the moment Newcastle don't seem to be able to score a goal against Manchester United no I thought for a moment there's a goal in another game. Um, but yeah, so uh, as I say, last couple of hours. Well, I'm afraid that's it. Time to go. A one fish, uh, one fish day for me. Although I did have a couple of other opportunities, neither of which came to fruition um, and sadly David um, David blanked and didn't manage to find a fish today. Um, what's next? Well something a bit special at least for me. Um, it, it's come around to the time of year when I head north and um, go up to the highlands for a week. Um, it's a bit of walking and hopefully a few pike. Um, hopefully you'll be able to join me for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. At least I've got a fish to show you this time. And um, it'll be, as I say, the Highlands for the next one. See you then, hopefully. Bye for now. <laughs>